What's up guys, I just want to do a quick review of the boot.dev backend developer course. I currently am two modules in, so I'm really early on in the course, but I wanted to just give my thoughts on it so far because uh, I didn't really see too many reviews on it uh, when I was starting the course, so I wanted to give my thoughts. So this is the main dashboard. Um, you can see your progress overall here. You can see I've done the first two course and I have my next course right here. So um, I wanted to just click on a random course and go through what it looks like um, on the day-to-day -day, like lessons page. Okay, so um, on the left here, you will have the explanation of the lesson. Uh, it'll give you a couple examples and then towards the bottom it'll have an assignment in that which you're supposed to type in on the right. Um, now the really cool part about this is that you have a couple things you can do. You can run the code which basically just tests it so you won't lose any points if you get it wrong or you won't gain any points if you get it right. This is just to test the output to see what it looks like and then once you click submit is when it's actually uh, submitted onto the, the the course I guess and you will get either you will either lose points or lose like a streak or something if you get it wrong or you will gain experience that will add um, to your experience points if you get it right um, now one really cool feature I like is Boots, which is basically like an AI chatbot. Um, now what he does is that um, he doesn't give you the answer. He kind of just explains it in a way that helps you get the answer, right? So for example, let's say um, I wrote this. This was an error I made previously and it already has full context of your code. So if I ask like, what am I doing wrong? Um, he will kind of give you, uh, he'll say, look closely at the line. So he notice how the AI chatbot doesn't necessarily give you the answer, it kind of hints and nudges you towards what you're doing wrong or what you should be looking at, which I found really helpful. Another alternative way is let's say you couldn't figure it out using his help at all. You can peek at the solution and you can see that um, you can see what you're doing wrong compared to the actual solution. Now, a lot of times, like I will do a, uh, I will finish a lesson, get it right. And then I'll take a look at the solution to see how they went about doing it. And at times, let's say they went about doing it in a much more efficient way. At times, uh, I actually liked my answer better um, and I found it to be more efficient. So you just get to see a different perspective of what it looks like um, when you peek at the solution. Now, um, up top here, it's more of like a gamification, which it seems silly when you are first starting out, like you wouldn't really care about any of this. Um, but there is a feature that I really found interesting and I found myself um, making more progress due to it. And this is this accept quest feature. Now, uh, I haven't accepted a quest yet, so I'll just show you guys what it looks like. So let's say I accept this uh, medium chest right here. Now, what this does is that it gives me 24 hours to get a thousand XP. Now, if I do that, I will get the awards or the rewards of that specific chest. Um, but what it does is that like, let's say I'm like 30, 40 minutes into a session and I'm like, maybe, maybe I have like 900 XP and I just need a hundred more. This rather than like ending my session for the day, I kind of look at this and it gives me a little motivation to keep going, um, which um, 
which is pretty fun at times, I guess, like the gamification aspect of it. And then another aspect of the gamification is the leaderboards. So there's like um, top league earners. So, wow, this guy's doing a lot, but I'm like ranked number four. So I can see, okay, like I'm a little ahead of this guy and I'm pretty behind the top three. So maybe I need to put in more time and start catching up. And every time, like, I guess you make the top of a league, they put you in a different different league. I'm not too sure how it was, but you can kind of see how everyone else is doing here. And then there is also the boss, which doesn't happen too often, but what it does is that it, um, it's like a, it's like a community thing in which everyone, um, completes lessons and gets a collective XP, which will kill the boss. So I guess for this one, we need like maybe like 30 K more or 30 million more. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty cool aspect of it. And that's also associated with some awards. Um, so that's pretty much it in regards to what the courses look like. Again, I think they're really well structured in the sense where everything builds upon what you learned previously. There wasn't really any point in which like, I was like, Hey, they didn't really explain this well. And if you wanted, let's say I got like halfway through um, a lesson or halfway through a course and I wanted to refer back to something I did previously, all the other previous lessons are here and I can search through them as well. So if I wanted to look for a list, I can see like, okay, Maybe I'm looking for this list pop, list pop method, which applies to the current lesson I'm doing right now, right? So um, that's a really useful feature as well. Um, oh, and they have, um, they have YouTube courses associated, or they have YouTube videos associated with their courses that kind of explain the lesson as you're going through. Um, I feel like that's pretty optional. Uh, I did one lesson with it, one le or one course with it, and one course without it. And I honestly, I think I just prefer what they have already. But I guess it's a cool feature sometimes when I just want to watch something. I guess that's not uh, a complete waste of time. Um, and the last cool feature I want to talk about is their Discord group. So. In here, let's say for whatever reason, you couldn't figure out something using Boots or the solution, or you maybe you thought there was an error with the course or something, their community is super active. Um, they have like help sections for specific courses, a general help section. And a cool one that I really like is that I got hired, which pretty much every day there's like two to three people posting on how they use boot.dev in order to get hired. Um, and some of these guys are landing like really cool positions. Um, and you can see like, I'll just click on a random one. And yeah, like this guy just started two months ago and he landed a role. Um, so yeah, I guess it's just, there's just some cool motivation. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are doing this just to land a job. I myself uh, already have a job, but I've already wanted, uh, I've always wanted to learn how to code. So um, maybe I'll transition to some sort of backend development sometime later. Um, but yeah, I hope this gives you guys a good overview of what boot.dev is, what the courses look like. Um, they do have a lot of uh, discount codes running. I got mine at 45% off for the whole year, which I feel like is a really good steal. Um, so yeah, I yeah I wanted to just give my experiences. I hope this benefits someone thinking about joining it. I would highly recommend it so far. Again, I'm only two courses in, but I found it to be really beneficial. Uh, and I hope that helps. Thank you, guys.